Hello and welcome. Welcome to another episode of Lunch with Lisa. I'm Lisa Warner. I'm the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing, a book I wrote after I healed myself from cancer simply by shifting the way I looked at things. You know, Dr. Wayne Dyer used to say, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And I experienced this firsthand when I changed the way I looked at what was happening to my body. At first, when I realized that I was facing cancer, it was scary. I was terrified. What was gonna happen? Why was this happening to me? That, you know, am I gonna die? All of these thoughts went through my head. And when I, won, when I wanted to find the solution, I started to look at my options. You know, the first option, obviously, was, well, you know, you go the medical route, you go to the doctor, you go have have chemo, radiation, long-term pharmaceuticals, uh, radical surgery. You know, that's what most people do. So if most people do it, then that must be the thing to do. Well, for me, that wasn't the thing to do. For me, I didn't like those options. I saw what happened to people that had gone through chemotherapy. Some of them made it and some of them didn't. I didn't like those odds. Long-term pharmaceuticals, I was never one for pharmaceuticals to begin with. So doing that long-term didn't register with me, didn't feel right, didn't feel in alignment. Radical surgery, well, I was born with all of these body parts and, you know, God doesn't create a bunch of junk. It's not like, oh, hey, you don't need that body part. Like, no, I need these body parts. I wanted to keep them all. So if I wasn't going to do chemo or radiation or long-term pharmaceuticals or radical surgery, it appeared that the medical model really wasn't for me. And I knew deep down inside that my body was designed to heal itself. I had evidence. I had proof. Every time I had gotten a cut, my skin sealed itself back up. Anytime I'd had a cold or the flu, my body healed. I had the mumps and the chicken pox when I was a kid. I just, my body worked its way through and came out the other side perfectly healthy. Bumps, bruises, blisters, scrapes, sprains, breaks. All of those things automatically healed. So it was clear to me that my body was designed to heal itself. If my body design was designed to heal itself for all of those things, why wouldn't it heal itself from cancer or any other abnormality, let's say? It was clear to me at the time that I was living a pretty miserable life. I was very unhappy. I was constantly stressed over money. And living in a constant state of stress and a constant state of not knowing where I fit into the world. Why was I here? What was I supposed to do? Why did I need to go get some soul-sucking job just so I could have money in order to survive? I didn't really want to survive life. I wanted to live life. So I was going through a really rough time emotionally. And it was completely obvious to me that my emotional trauma was impacting my body. It was clear to me that if if I was just really, really happy, I wouldn't be in that pickle boat <laughs> that I was in. So I decided to change my mind. I, start, I decided to change my emotional state. 
I decided to learn how to become happy. I decided to learn how to sing my soul song so that I could do what I came here to do. It was clear to me that if I became happy, if I learned how to manage my energy and my emotional state, that my physical body would follow. If I could bring my mental and emotional bodies back into alignment, my physical body would follow. And that's exactly what happened. And during my healing process, part of, part of what I did was every day I sat and I meditated on the question, what do I need to know in order to change this? Every day I asked the same question until I got the answer. And the answer surprised me, frankly. When the answer popped in, it was completely obvious that the answer that I received was absolutely true. The information that popped in was, hey, Lisa, your body's not being attacked by some disease. Your body is responding to your emotional state. There's nothing wrong with your body. Your body's functioning exactly the way it's designed to function, given the emotional environment you have provided. Light bulb. All of a sudden, the entire idea of cancer attacking me disappeared. It became completely obvious that I was not being attacked by anything other than my own misery. And it became clear that my body was actually trying to help me. And in that moment, I had a massive shift of consciousness. I had a massive aha moment where the light bulb came on. I became enlightened. <laughs> Meaning suddenly, instead of looking through my pre-programmed human eyes of, oh my gosh, I'm being attacked by a disease, suddenly I expanded out and I saw through the eyes of my soul, through the eyes of my higher self, the non-physical part of me that sees completely differently than the pre-programmed mind sees. Our minds have been programmed. Our minds have been hypnotized into believing that we're merely mortals. We're not mortal. We're immortal beings of light. It's who and what we are. We're not physical beings. We are non-physical beings. But when that vision is shut down, and we see only through our physical eyes, we're seeing through the, the eyes of our mind, our pre-programmed mind. And we simply believe what we're told by the authority figures, whether they're government officials or media or doctors or teachers or preachers, parents who have also been programmed When we start taking control of our own consciousness and we start expanding our consciousness back out, when we leave the, the prison of our own pre-programmed mind, we start breaking the hypnotic spell of disease. We stop being afraid of our bodies. We stop worrying about germs and microorganisms attacking us or diseases attacking us. This is not true.
when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. When we stop fearing invisible enemies, microorganisms that we can't see with our eyes, unless we look under a microscope. And only then we're told, well, this is what you're looking at. How do you know what you're looking at? You only know what you're looking at because you've been told what you're looking at. We only know about cancer and other diseases because we've been told about them. From people who have been told about them, from people who have been told about them, then we all just believe the same thing. So we just keep all living the same reality. It's a reality we don't need to be living anymore. It's time for us to break the hypnosis, time to break the spell of disease. entire world was thrown into a tizzy. Protect yourself, protect yourself. And look what's happened. Look where that's gotten us. We have to take our power back from microorganisms. There's no microorganism in the entirety of all of creation that has any power over you unless you give your power away to it. There is no disease in all of creation that has any power over you unless you give your power away to it through your fear. When I was afraid of being attacked by cancer, it felt like this cancer thing was huge. There was everywhere that no matter where I went, it was still there, stalking me, waiting to get me. It was a really, really, really dark place to exist. But the moment I realized I didn't need to live in that dark place anymore, when I could start trusting my body, when I started realizing there is no such thing that's out to get us, Everything changed. All of my power came back to me instead of me giving my power away to my fears. I took my power back and started developing a better relationship with my dear, sweet, beautiful body. This body that is here to ensure our survival. every single thing our bodies do, they do on our behalf. The body is designed to survive. It is designed to adapt and to adjust itself in ways that allow us to thrive and survive. But those adaptations have been labeled as diseases. So now every time our bodies change or shift or we feel a lump or a bump or pain, or we have some uncomfortable un symptom, vomit, diarrhea, fever, we go, oh no, what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with us. There's nothing wrong with your body. Your body is doing exactly what it's designed to do. You have to take your power back. You have to stop fearing your own body. That's the programming. We have been taught to fear our own bodies. We have been taught to do some really stupid stuff in the name of protecting ourselves. But this, my friends, is the shift of consciousness. We are in the midst of the great awakening where we shift our consciousness, where the light bulb goes on and we realize that we are grand beings of light and that nothing in this physical realm has any power over us unless we allow it to, 
unless we give our power away. Are you ready to reclaim your power? Are you ready to change the way you look at things? We've all been taught that, well, it is the way it is. And then we lock ourselves into a point of view and then we never vary from that point of view. And if we never vary from that point of view, we never see anything bigger. We never sometimes ever see the truth of what's actually going on. And we just lock ourselves into the prison of our own mind. The programming that we have been taught. We have been taught to believe in diseases. We have been taught that germs, little microorganisms have the power to kill us. Well, when we believe that, that becomes our reality. And then we say, see, it's true. It's only true because we just created it to be true. We are creator beings. We create with our beliefs. Every single thing we believe, we experience. Our beliefs become our experience. When we start seeing beyond the pre-programmed beliefs. We start freeing ourselves from the uncomfortable, miserable experiences that those limiting beliefs generate. We stop fearing diseases, germs, authority figures. We take our power back and we start recognizing our own brilliance. We start recognizing the brilliance of the design of our bodies. We start trusting our body's ability to heal itself. We stop allowing other people to tell us what to do. We stop following the rules that don't feel good, that are clearly out of alignment and out of integrity. And we bring ourselves back into integrity and alignment. And we reclaim our health and our happiness. And we start living in alignment with our true nature. And we start turning our own light back on. And we start recognizing ourselves as the grand beings of light and love that we are. When we stop living in fear, we start living in love. And all the infinite possibilities open themselves back up to us. And we start consciously creating and generating our experiences. And we start creating beauty. We start creating gorgeous lives surrounded by like-minded people. We start generating healthy lives, well-rounded lives, feeling supported, feeling loved, feeling safe. But it takes a shift of consciousness. We have to be willing to change the way we look at the world. The media tells us how to look at the world. It says, see, look, here's the world. It's really bad out there. Terrible things happening. 
This is the way life is. The struggle to survive. It's not the way it is. It's not the way it has to be. It can be your reality, but it does not need to be. It's not my reality. It's not my friend's realities. We're all changing the way we look at things so that we can start generating heaven on earth in happy, healthy bodies, doing things we love to do, being contributions to the world, stewarding this planet, becoming stewards of nature, helping each other. We stop allowing ourselves to live in fear. We stop allowing ourselves to believe there's something wrong with us. And we start seeing what's right with us. And we start seeing the brilliance of the design of our own bodies that are designed to heal themselves. They are designed to create extra cells if they need extra cells, to deplete the number of cells if they need to get rid of them, and then to bring themselves back into balance. Every single thing your body does, it's doing with purpose and reason. But if you fear what's going on in your own body, you fear a part of yourself. There's no need to fear any part of yourself, including your body. Are you willing to shift your consciousness? Are you willing to change the way you look at your physical symptoms? Are you willing to notice that you are a grand being of light? Are you ready to see the brilliance of who you actually are and stop living in fear and survival mode? Because this is what's possible. It's who you are. Health is natural. Disease is manufactured. It's a belief system that has all of us struggling and suffering needlessly. All it takes is a shift of consciousness. And all it takes is a choice. If you need assistance shifting your consciousness and seeing the brilliance of your own body's design, please reach out. If you'd like to help seeing the grand being of light you actually are, please reach out. I'll be happy to help you see the truth of who you actually are and the brilliance of your body's design. I'm Lisa Warner. I'm the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing, a book I wrote after I simply shifted the way I looked at things to heal my body naturally. If I can do it, you can do it too. We all can do this. It's time. Hope this was helpful to you. If it was helpful to you, please share it with others. If you're watching on YouTube, then please subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like more information, please feel free to reach out to me at connectingyoutoyou.com. Thanks for watching. Until next week, create for yourselves a great week. Bye for now.